You're watching New World Ordnance and today we're taking a first-hand look at the Taurus View. This is the M85 Compact Lightweight Revolver. You wouldn't know by the name that this is actually the smallest, lightest, most compact revolver I, I believe that's ever been made. You're probably wondering now, why do they call this revolver the View? Well, when you flip it over, which you'll see here in the video, you'll notice that the side plate is made out of Lexan, made most famous from the Mythbusters using it in a lot of the stunts that they do. So you see the clear side plate here, and I think that that clear side plate was the demise of the M85 view. They still make this revolver, the smallest, most compact, lightest revolver, but they now call it the M85 no view, and it's insane to me that they're not marketing this as the smallest revolver now that the view has been taken out. The reason I say that I believe that the Lexan side plate was the demise of the Taurus view is from experience selling a ton of these on Gunbroker when they were in production. Problem that guys were having is it would get dirty under that side plate when you shoot this. So naturally it makes you want to take the side plate off and clean the revolver. And what was happening is guys would over tighten or maybe not 100% uh, line up the Lexan side plate first and they were cracking that Lexan plate. And as you can imagine, I'm sure it's more expensive for Lexan plate than say uh, less expensive plastics, obviously, uh, like plexiglass. So I'm sure that Taurus quickly decided that it would be easier to sell this as what they now call the no view. But again, not marketed as the lightest, most compact, at least, you know, I am not seeing it. So a very cool design from Taurus. It's what you would expect. Um, it's got a Taurus-like trigger. It's construction and finish is that that you would find on a stainless M85. The grips are standard Taurus plas plastic type uh, grips. And the recoil is not too bad. I mean, it's not, you know, going to blow your hand off when you try to shoot it. It'd be about the same as any other maker's Ultralight 38. So definitely a cool unknown revolver that was recently put out of production. And we're proud to show you this high quality footage of it. If you haven't yet, as always, please hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching. Where she's going to